Yes. I put twelve. Thank you. Nice roses it looks. So Neil said to give this to your father, please. He said these are the the prayers for the healing. You think Bill wanted to to keep it over here or there? I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know what the, they do with them, so. Okay, I'll keep it here then. There you go. Yeah. I did put a small stack up there of uh, dirty block keys and dirty meal service. And I'll finish the rest. Tension card spotter scrapbooking home to cut. If you want to print some more of these, um, I kind of butchered that. Uh, that I well, I don't out. have time. No, I mean after the service. Uh, if we want, I will be happy to do them at home with people. Anytime okay. you want to bring them home, I kind of butcher these. But in the future, uh, I'll use the cutter.
shelf over there, Baba Sri. In that shelf over there where the papers kept those seats over there. You take it out carefully. Maybe just stand on a stool. Well, you know, his daughter and his son are, his son is in the Air Force and his daughter's in the Navy. The Navy girl cannot come. She's out on the ship. But uh, Thomas can't at the same time, but he's coming two weeks later. Is that compulsory in Norway? Yes. Yes. Yes, to spend a year in the Navy. Well, not a year in the Navy. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> he's doing good for himself. He's dating all the boys. <laughs> I'm sure that's partly why she went. Oh, come on, she's 20. You know, 
Could you do a sound check for me? Oop, I'm getting nothing here. Just a second. Let me see what's wrong. Well, my grandson, this is his second year because they gave him a job. And he wants to stay in. And, and I mean, they go for, to college for nothing. So it's not like they have to Okay, can you try that again? All right, there we go. Okay, I, let me turn up the volume here. I don't know why that is. Uh, feedback. Um, morning. Morning. Okay. Well, guess that will. Are you, are you reading this morning? Okay, very good. All right, got three minutes. Get see if I can get the other computer up and running. And uh, Uh, her name is Kakuli or something. Okay, well, he's got he's he's on as a co-host, so he can do any of the things he needs to do to have her on. So. Uh, no. You no. sure? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Well, good morning and welcome on this uh, feast of title for us. This is Trinity Sunday and we're glad to have everybody uh, with us. Uh, you might want to keep uh, uh, Father Sunil in your prayers. Uh, he's under the weather, so he's at home. And, but he's joining us online with Christine. And uh, I don't see them there yet, but uh, uh, 
where uh, he's, he's I, I, I see his name up online. Uh, if you didn't uh, pick up prayer list or uh, prayer cards, um, and the hymn sheets are over here, and uh, what is the appointed one for today? Uh, just You can choose two. Well, that's kind of Easter. Lift high the cross. Lift high the cross. That's good. That's right. We'll we'll just we'll just sing it. Okay. In Christ alone. Perfect. Uh, for our folks online, here's here's the other. Uh, For those online, hopefully you have them lift high the cross uh, and in Christ alone. So there we go. And uh, so uh, we'll stand and we're going to sing uh, lift high the cross. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the hosts of God in conquering ranks combined. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Each newborn servant of the crucified bears on the brow the seal of him who died. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim till all the world adore his sacred name. Well, you all get an A plus for singing a cappella. Uh, this is the Blessed Trinity a cappella choir. So you guys did a great job, so thank you. And uh, our service this morning uh, let's see, we're going to have some announcements. Uh, we're not going to have any announcements. Well, I am going to make one announcement, and that is not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday, I believe that's the 13th, we're going to be having our vestry meeting, that's our governing board meeting, at 5, uh, 5 p.m. on Zoom, so it'll be done by uh, 6 o'clock with evening prayer. And... Uh, uh, these are not closed meetings. Uh, if we have to do something confidential, we would uh, uh, let others go and then, uh, uh, and so that's going to be 5 o'clock on the 13th. So, um, very good. Then our service is going to begin today on page. 106, and because this is the first Sunday of the month, we're going to be doing the Decalogue, uh, Deca 10 Commandments. All right, so uh, page 106, page. Oh, uh, page 105, uh, no, page 106, thank you. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that, so that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
now and always. Amen. And we'll turn to page 105 for the, uh, for the Decalogue. God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. You shall not make for yourself a craved image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord... Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. Honor your father and your mother. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. You shall not murder. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. You shall not commit adultery. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. You shall not steal. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. You shall not covet. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write this law on our hearts. We'll continue on uh, page 106 with the Kyrie. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ, have mercy mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And we'll stand and say together the uh, hymn of glory on page 107. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only eternal Son, Jesus Christ, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. You who takes away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You who sits at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us, for you only are holy, you only are the Lord. You only, O Christ, with the Holy Spirit, are the Most High in the glory of God the Father. Amen. You'll find our collect for this Trinity Sunday, our Feast of Title, on page 89, and we'll use our prayer for our parish on the prayer cards. We'll we'll be sending those up to uh, uh, some up to Cyprus so you have them as well uh, as our second collect. Page 89. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who gave grace to your people to proclaim the true faith, acknowledging the glory of the eternal trinity, and by the power of your divine majesty worshiping one God. Keep us standing firm in this faith and always defend us from danger, who lives and rules one God for now and forever. Amen. 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 Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family of the Blessed Trinity. Strengthen the faithful, rouse the careless, restore the penitent, 
Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we'll have our first reading this morning is from, uh, from the Old Testament, 2 Samuel. Oh, you're, you're right. It's Isaiah 6. I'm sorry. Thank you. I, I skipped a line. <laughs> okay. A reading from Isaiah 6, starting at the first verse. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphims. Each had six wings. The two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundations of the threshold shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a burning coal that he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we'll have our reading of the, the psalm. Today's psalm is found in your Book of Common Prayer on page 172. If you could follow me, I'll read the odd verses and you can read the even verses. It's beginning uh, Psalm 8, beginning the first verse. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at the, your heavens, the work of your finger, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings, and crowned him with the glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field. The birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea. Whatsoever is of the sea. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and, will, will, be and forever, will be forever, now, now and, and always. always. Amen. Amen. And our New, uh, New Testament reading. A reading from the Revelation of St. John the Divine, the fourth chapter, beginning at the first verse. After this, I look, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne stood in heaven, with one seated on the throne. And he who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Carnelian. And around the throne was a rainbow, that had the appearance of an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and seated on the throne 
were 24 elders, clothed in white garments, with golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, and rumblings and peals of thunder. And before the throne were burning seven torches of fire, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was, as it were, a sea of glass, like crystal. Around, and around the throne, on each side of the throne, there are, are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second living creature like an ox, the third living creature with the face of a man, and the fourth living creature like an eagle in flight. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and within. And day and night they never cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before him who is seated on the throne, and worship him who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please stand for the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, the third chapter, beginning at the first verse. Glory, Glory to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Lord Christ. Now there was, actually before I start, I don't normally do a commentary, I wanted to quickly say something uh, we're going to hear about Nicodemus the Pharisee. And one of the things that a lot of people were not aware because uh, Jesus had a number of criticisms about the Pharisees, the Pharisees were the most respected of the religious party. They studied and tried to practice the law. Remember, the two great gifts of God there in the Old Testament were the giving of the law, how to live with the holy God. And the second was the tabernacle, that when you strayed from the law, how did you return your relationship to God? And so the Pharisees tried to live out the law and they were known as devout people. And what they did is they said, well, if the line is over here where the edge of the cliff is, we're going to build the guardrail, except we're going to build the guardrail back here. <laughs> and they were more concerned about the guardrail than about the relationship with God, because that's what the purpose of the law was, your relationship with God, how to live with the Holy God. Okay, so. Now, <laughs> the third chapter beginning at the first verse. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. 
That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, you, Are you a, a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? I tell you, I say to you, we speak of what we know and bear witness to what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. Our service will continue on page 108 with the ancient statement of the Christian faith, the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. On the third day he rose again in keeping with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So today we're celebrating Trinity Sunday. And Trinity Sunday is all about our knowing God. And in our gospel this morning, it said, Jesus was saying, uh, the one who can tell you about heaven is the very one who descended from heaven. Who would that be? Jesus. Jesus. And so he tells us about heaven. And he's telling Nicodemus, not only was he a knowledgeable Pharisee, he was also the CEO of the local synagogue. Now, unlike a church where uh, the pre uh, there's usually a priest or a deacon in charge of the congregation and is also the teacher, uh, in Judaism, the rabbi was not necessarily in charge of the congregation. The rabbi was the one who would do the teaching, the explaining, the, who taught the law. Rabbi means teacher. But here, the leader 
of the synagogue council, the president, came to Jesus because he saw there was something more. He was looking for more in his relationship with God. And Jesus says to him that he needs to be born again. That the very life, the relationship of living with God needed to enter in. Now, in baptism, as Catholic Christians, Christians, the majority of Christians throughout the world, we believe that in baptism, God acts to enter into your life. But you still have to choose to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. You have to daily pick up your cross and follow him. And so we go about our lives not just in the outward and visible things, but to have that relationship with God that fills and permeates who we are. As we celebrate this Trinity Sunday, we don't celebrate three gods. And when we talk about the persons of the Trinity, it's not that we're talking about, um, well, there are three faces to God. No, it's actually something much more. It's about the relationship. The relationship between a father and a son. Between the son and the spirit. And the, the spirit and the father. The three acting together. Now, you know in part what I'm talking about. Because when we talk about love, we're talking about a relationship. When you were celebrating Mother's Day, or whether you were celebrating uh, Valentine's Day, I mean, it wasn't the candy or the flowers. It was about relationships. I remember in junior high going to the school dances. How, how many of you remember going to school dances in junior high? And what did the room look like when you came in? Oh, that's exactly right, Suzanne. It was the, like the water is divided. The boys were on one side and the girls were on the other. And when I saw that girl across the room, and I was exuding all those feelings of love. I mean, immediately she knew, right? <laughs> no, it had to be put into action and into words. It had to be made visible. It had to be established in a relationship. And it didn't matter if it was awkward. But you had to go across that room. <laughs> well, Jesus went across the divide that we might know the reality of that relationship of love that God has for us. And it's that quality of a relationship that's between the persons of the Trinity that we are celebrating today. And God has invited us in to relationship, to know, to be born of water and the Spirit, to have it come and be a reality for us in our lives. This Trinity Sunday is one of 
three Sundays during the year where we read something called the exhortation. It is to exhort us to enter into that relationship with God, to know him more and more. To recognize he's come across that divide. <laughs> that you might know the reality of God's love for you. And so what are we going to hear about in the exhortation? It's about coming in to communion, receiving our Lord. Jesus took wheat bread and grape wine. It was that traditional shared elements of the Passover meal because it was when we were slaves in Egypt and the slavery that Jesus brings us out of is out of sin and death that we might have life, God's life living in us. And so we come to receive Christ present here in the sacrament. Jesus said, this is my body and this is my blood. We don't have to explain how it is. What we are to recognize is Christ present here with us and to receive him into our lives, to be in that relationship. So we're celebrating this feast of the Holy Trinity today, that, that relationship of love, like what we hope all relationships are going to be, is they're going to become more. My relationship with my wife, Alice, is more and it becomes more year by year and it's not that relationships can't have difficulty it's that we know from our relationships what a good relationship ought to be and the kind of relationship we ought to have with God the one that God desires for you to have life, an abundant life, flowing, overflowing. And so we celebrate this feast of the Trinity. So we're going to uh, hear for our prayer here at the end of uh, our sermon. Uh, I'm going to be uh, reading the exhortation. And if you will turn in your uh, Book of Common Prayer, you'll find it on page 20. And it says there at the beginning of that, on page 120, that it's to be read on the first Sunday of Advent, the first Sunday in Lent, and Trinity Sunday. And we're at Trinity Sunday. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have come to Holy Communion to the Holy Communion of the body and blood of our Savior Christ, we must consider how blessed Paul exhorted all persons to reflect and examine themselves before presuming to eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For as the benefit is great, if with a truly penitent heart and lively faith we receive that sacrament, so is the danger great if we receive that sacrament unworthily. Therefore, judge yourselves so that the Lord might not judge you. Repent of your past sins, have a lively and constant faith in Christ, amend your lives, and show forth love to all persons so that you might rightly partake of the holy mysteries. And above all, you must give heartfelt thanks to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the redemption of all people by the death and passion of our Savior Christ, who is both God and man, who became man for us sinners 
in our alienation from God and under the shadow of death, so that he might make us children of God and raise us to eternal life. To this purpose, we should always remember the amazing and great love of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on our behalf, and the countless benefits he has won for us by the blood of his sacrifice. He instituted and ordained these holy mysteries as sure signs of his love and for a continual remembrance of his death to our great and endless comfort. Therefore, to him, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, let us give our continual thanks, submitting ourselves fully to his most holy will and pleasure, and studying to serve him in true holiness and righteousness all the days of our life. Offer to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vows to the Most High. As we uh, prepare to offer ourselves, uh, if you're filling out your prayer card uh, as an outward and visible sign and those in who you know who are in need of God's help of, in healing in body, mind, or soul, uh, we'll be preparing bread and wine here at the altar. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, formed into the earth, work of human hands, sanctified, that it may be for us the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, sanctify it that it may be for us, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. top of page uh, 109, page 109. All things come from you, O Lord, and of your own have we given you. Let us pray for Christ's holy church. Almighty and ever-living God, by your holy apostle Paul, you have taught us to offer our prayers and requests and to give thanks for all people. In your mercy, we humbly ask you to receive our prayers and oblations, which we offer to your divine majesty. Lord, in your mercy, we ask you to continually inspire your entire church with the spirit of harmony, unity, and truth, and grant that all who confess your holy name may agree in the truth of your holy word, and live in unity and godly love. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. O oh Lord, direct the hearts and thoughts of our leaders of government so that they may make wise decisions and administer justice and punish wrongdoers and encourage right conduct and true religion. Give to all in authority the President of the United States, the governor of this state, the legislature, 
the leaders of our towns, villages, and the communities which surround us, the wisdom and strength to know and to do your will. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, give your grace to all pastors, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, especially Ray and Walter, our bishops, for our clergy of this parish, and to every leader in our fellowship, May they show forth your true and living word by their life and teaching, by their right and faithful administration of your holy sacraments, and by their training and equipping your people for ministry. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. And to all your people give your heavenly grace, so that they may, with pure hearts and minds, hear and receive your holy word, truly serving you in right conduct and holiness of life all the days of their life. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And we humbly ask you in your goodness, O Lord, to comfort, visit, and relieve all those in need of your healing touch, more especially Sunil, Karen, Bob, Pam, Jack, Tony, Chuck, Pam, Sophia, Tanya, Arthur, Oliver, Dave, Amy, Sue, Diane, Chris, Alex, Greg, Andy, Tommy, Natasha, Pat, Jen, Jen, Jessica, Angela, Michelle, Susan, Tom, Kim, Sonny, Scott, Richard, Ricky, Kurt, Suzanne, Elizabeth, Timothy, Benjamin, Judy, Judith, Richard, Casper, Sarah, Noku, Chris, Brent, and we ask your guidance and direction, especially in the lives of Heather, Brent, Charlotte, Sophia, Megan. Angel, Brandon, Marissa, Kyle, Mo, Sean, Jeff, Chris, Ruth, Gina, <coughs> Donna, Stella, Michelle, Joanne, Laura, Sandy, Hazel, Alex, Sunil Deacon, Natasha, Richard, Neil, Donna, and their family, Rob, Rick, Jacob, Benjamin, Timothy, Elizabeth, Suzanne, Cheyenne, Danny, Arthur, Oliver, Celia, Levi, Shelley, Carly, Cassie, and Chase. And for all those who in this earthly life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, danger, distress, or any other difficulty, we pray especially for the protection of all those who are suffering in the Ukraine, especially Oleg's family. We also ask your protection for Timur and his family, and for the protection of those serving in our armed forces especially Chris, Thomas, and Inga. Relieve and strengthen, help and deliver them by your mighty hand, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gracious and merciful Lord, who works all things together for the good of those who love you, we offer you our thanks for the answered prayers of uh, the visit of Brandon Shari's niece this summer for Tom's positive tests and for his continued healing for Doug and the healing of his legs and being able to stand and thanksgiving for 
uh, conscious, safe delivery, and for the health of her newborn. We also give thanks for Noku's housing and ask your continued blessing upon her. And for all the blessings you have granted to your people, especially for our parish of the Blessed Trinity and for our life together in our and the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And we bless your holy name, O Lord, for all your servants who have died in the face of, of Christ. Grant them grace to love and serve you forever. We entrust your mercy all who have died. Give us grace to follow the good examples of those who have gone before us in the faith, so that with them we may be partakers of your heavenly kingdom. Lord, Grant them eternal rest. May your everlasting light shine upon them. Grant these our prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate, who lives and rules with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and always. Amen. Amen. You who truly and earnestly repent of your sins are in love and peace with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and by walking daily in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to comfort you and make your humble confession to Almighty God devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and confess our many sins and wrongdoings which we have committed by, from time to time by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty, justly bringing your sorrow and anger upon us. We earnestly repent, and from our hearts are sorry for all our wrongdoings. Remembering them weighs heavily upon us. The burden of them is more than we can bear. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that from this time forward we may serve and please you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn to him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear the comforting words of our Savior to all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And hear the words of Paul the Apostle. The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And John the Evangelist says, If anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is fitting and right to do so. It is very fitting, right, and our duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, who, with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, are one God, one Lord, in trinity of persons and in unity of substance. For what we believe of your glory, O Father, we also believe of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, without any difference of inequality. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim and magnify your glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to you, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Prayer continues on page 113. 
All glory be to you, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for you of your tender mercy gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who may there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of his most precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of your dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, your humble servants, do celebrate and make here before your divine majesty with these your holy gifts which we now offer to you, the memorial your Son has commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering to you most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits provided to us by the saints. Merciful Father, we humbly ask you to hear us, and of your almighty goodness to bless and sanctify with your word and Holy Spirit these your gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire your fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly asking you to grant that by the merits and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all your whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present to you, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice to you, humbly asking you that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with your grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body in, <clears throat> and made one body with him and he and us. And although we are worthy through our many sins to offer to you any sacrifice, yet we humbly ask you to accept this our essential duty and service, not weighing our merits but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, are given all honor and glory, O Father Almighty, now and always. Amen. 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 And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Amen. Our Father, who Amen. art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your abundant and great mercy. We are not worthy to gather up the crumbs under your table, 
but you are the Lord who always has mercy upon his people. Therefore, gracious Lord, grant that we may eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, so that our sinful bodies and souls may be made clean by his body, and be washed in his precious blood, that we may forever live in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. And we'll gather for a Holy Communion. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, to be preserved your body and soul to everlasting life. Take me this morning as the Christ died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith. Jesus Christ, thanks be to us. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, given to you. Blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, give me to preserve your body and soul. Take me this remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. Did you want the blessing? Blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ was given for you. Preserve your body and soul Amen. to everlasting life. Sunday is number 266. Might be familiar to some of you. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, which wert and art and evermore shall be. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, though the eye of sinful man thy glory may not see, only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, in love and purity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy work shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Amen. Amen. And our prayer will continue on page 116. Page 116. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, 
From our hearts we thank you for feeding us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, thereby assuring us of your favor and love and that we are living members in the mystical body of your Son, the blessed fellowship of all faithful people, and are all the sacrifice and the death of your Son, are through hope of your eternal kingdom. Heavenly Father, we ask you to assist us with the help of your grace, so that we may continue in your holy fellowship and walk in every good work which you have prepared for us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, with you and the Holy Spirit, honor and glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 And we're going to uh, stand and sing in Christ alone. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, Scorned by the ones he came to save, Till on that cross, as Jesus died, The wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid, here in the death of Christ I live. Verse 4. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From earth's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I stand. Jesus said to his disciples, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Amen. 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 And we'll conclude with the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen.
O Lord, grant us a vision of your being in beauty, that in the strength of it we may work without haste or without worry, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, please be seated. Uh, we've got uh, a few few things uh, here to take care of. So uh, let's see. First, do we have any pictures today? All right. Sophia's going to grab grab her pictures. Are you going to grab your picture? Oh, okay. But you want to come up and wave and say hi? All right. Oh, and you've got your pictures? All right. So here, why don't, why don't I uh, make it so everybody can see you? Okay, now wave hi. There we go. All right. <laughs> Okay, and now we're going to, uh, you want to show off your picture? Okay, let me, let me bring this down. We're, we're too tall today. There we go. All right, you're getting taller, but not that tall. Oh, and what do we have there on, in your picture? What is that picture of? Um, uh, I'm a stone all right, I like all the colors. Excellent, excellent. All right. And I use the watercolors. With you this. do watercolors with it. All right. And now uh, Sophia's got some pictures she wants to show us. And uh, this is uh, Jesus, and he's, he's healing somebody there. It says, and, and uh, we have, oh, looks like the Feast of Pentecost with the uh, flames, of, flames of fire. Okay. Excellent. Nice. Oh, oh! You guys, no, you guys got to show them to everybody out here too. So, yeah, they get to, they get to see them too. All right, good job. All right. So, uh, we want to uh, wish you all a blessed uh, Trinity Sunday, and uh, we're uh, we've got uh, uh, we're going to have some snacks here. So, I hope you have some snacks where you are, and uh, all God's blessings and. Uh, uh, we'll see you later on. Take care. God's, God's blessings. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. They're all waving. <laughs>
Wow. I know, it's a way, much miracle work here. Yeah, yeah wow. But that, that's, they were just small, you know? I'm gonna leave this one here. Hope I don't forget it now. I probably will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put it in, you, you in, the, it in the box. In the box yeah. and the white one. And the white goes on the hanger. We'll on put the that hanger. back on the rack back there. You don't there. want me to take it to wash it? Uh, actually, if you would like to, this would be a great time yeah, to do that. Yeah, I'll wash it because. Uh, There's a little bit of wax there. Now, please, please, this wax here. Yeah. So if you take it nice and easy. Okay. And then use a just a table knife. You can usually yeah, get the majority I of it off. But the, yeah, the ice uh, will make a big difference. Is it okay if I have a donut in the oh, shop and just clean up? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's all good. I can do it. I'll just clean up and yeah. I'll just see. Yeah, no, we don't have that much to clean up. Uh, yes. We didn't get we didn't get everything out today, right. so. Did you, that's for you to take home, you know. I, I, I wanted it. My daughter has her own business, at the one in Ramona that you went to. And she, Nancy, um, yeah. yeah, Nancy, and she has a sore, and her son died. The sore son died, and they won't let her, at least two months ago, and they won't let her touch the body. They won't let her go in the apartment. There's got to be some underlying thing. I was going to say, it sounds like yes. a CDC, you yeah, know, like a communicable disease. Or something like that, or well, there's got to be something more involved. Oh, in that. yeah. And but so I thought maybe I would take that to her, but oh, it's not for her. This is for the church. That's that's for the church. Yeah. Is there anything? Um, we, we don't have one. We don't have something here. Uh, I gave her something already. Something at home that I gave her. 
Yeah. Let me. She's just so distraught over oh, it. Oh, I, I can't even imagine. I never thought about disease, but you know, you might be right about well, that. Well, that, I would say that, that to me, I, that would be my, my first thought. If I had my daily prayer book, I know I'd have some. That's okay. I'll get something at home. I'll give well, it. Well, I'm going to look in Alice's. I, I got to be careful with hers because. I may, if it's if it's after when we have our prayer meeting, I'll try to send a prayer card or something that Father Gregory could drop off. Okay, that would be good. Yeah, she would like that. What's her name? Her name is uh, Jean. Jean, did you have her on the list? She's a spicy little fucker. Yeah, she, um, and what was the son, son's name? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know her that well. My daughter knows her, but you know. Not her. Okay. That's all right. We don't know. God knows who Jean is. Yeah. So her name is Jean. Jean. Yeah. And I'm gonna put. to the prayer list this way, then uh, it'll be on my list as well. So, okay, uh, fine. Yeah, yeah. And I will take this home for me. Okay, excellent. Oh, and if anybody wants extra of the Blessed Trinity cards as a marker for your prayer book or whatever, we have, we ha always have uh, have those around for you. So, uh, Thank you. 
where you thought it was at home, text me and I'll, I mean, we'll, if I find it here, I'll text it and let you know. Yeah, no, um, I don't think he brought it. I think he brought it. Yeah. 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 All right, take care. Have a good week. We don't have the support on that kind of Well, actually, it, it, as, long as, as long as it, it kind of keeps them from rolling around, and it doesn't have to be. I mean, if we find, I mean, it's, there's, nothing, I speci there's that, nothing special about that box. It's just to keep, kind of keep it together. So, uh, so anybody want to take any uh, roses home with them? I'll take Father Keith. You'll, you'll take them to your, 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 your sick, sick husband there. Yes, up. Okay. Father, this one is, uh, I washed this one. There was one. There should, be, there should be two. Yeah, one here, one there. Yeah. Um, now, I don't know which one I washed. So, Neil put both in there. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, this one looks More clean. much fresher. Yeah, than this one, than right? Than that one, yes. Then yeah. I'll take this one for wash. Okay. And I'll take that paper cloth for wash. And my eyes are all red. So I, I want him to go with me and take me to the restaurant. Sure. So he might, and she picked me up, and we did a her hair and then out. Her eye was just, the white was completely bright red. Really? I mean, like, bloody. 